Thinking of doing your HGV license? Well, you've just passed your HGV license. Not sure on driver's hours. Not sure on working time. Not sure how you've hitched up to a trailer. Not sure how you strap a load. Then why not check out the new Essential Truckers Handbook? Crack a little book, jam packed with information. Lots and lots of information on it. Nice handy size to carry around. I keep it in my shelf up the top there, so if I need it, I just refer to it. It's got so much information in it, guys. Uh, link will be in the description. Take a look, check it out, enjoy it. Enjoy the video, guys. A very good morning. How the devil is everyone this week? Hope everyone is well. You yeah, join me this week on Wednesday morning. Uh, got home last night. Uh, Monday, I tipped out a local job um, and then uh, collected a load from Catnick, double dropper. Uh, I had one in Kirkby and Ashfield for Monday afternoon. Then went up towards Chesler Street for then for Tuesday. And then I went into Darlington and picked up this load that I've got on the back, which is a load of uh, a lot of plastic basically, recycling plastic. And uh, I'm in Pontypool at the moment and I'm heading up towards Blind Avon. As you can see on that sign there, maybe. So I thought, well, I'll start the video today. Uh, one, because it's a nice little run up here. It gets a little bit tight. So nice to show you. And two, uh, I'm not going to have my truck Friday or Monday. Uh, because it's going in for MOT this weekend, as uh, MOT and MOT on Tuesday. So, uh, Friday, I know there's going to be one truck uh, free to use, I'm going to be on locals <coughs> on Friday, but I could quite possibly be able to do um, a little video with the XG, because uh, I know Wayne's off every Friday, so you never know, they might put me in the XG. And I can do a little video on the XG. I can show you around the XG and what it's like, what I, my thoughts on it. I haven't driven one yet. So that could be quite interesting. But uh, at the moment, I am uh, on my way up the Blind Avon. Okay, uh, 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 come in. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit, uh, it can get a little bit tight in places coming up here. So I thought I would. Uh, just take you with me, basically. It's a little bit chilly out there this morning. I know up north they've had it bad with snow. And uh, I spoke to Ash this morning. He's, uh, he was in the yard when I got there this morning. I started at past six. It's now uh, just after seven. I've uh, been uh, driving for 20 minutes. Uh, left there at, left the yard just after quarter two. Uh, so I did all my checks and everything this morning. And uh, Ash is on his way back up to Scotland again. He's doing uh, Gargrave and Paisley. So he's heading up north again. And there's a weather warning until uh, 12 o'clock tomorrow. So. We shall see. That was a message from the office then. I don't know whether it was aimed at me or whether it was a generic message. I don't know. I'll have to have a look when I stop. some of the tighter roads not too bad by here it does get a little bit tighter as further I go up I can't remember the last time I was up this way uh, it's over a year ago I think I was up here this is where it starts so we got the pack cars on the left okay at the moment Uh, busier coming back down obviously by the time I come back down it'll be about I don't know I must say quarter the line maybe depending on how long I'm up here for I may have to wait there may be something up there before me I don't know this is where it starts to get a bit narrow
at all the overhanging trees back, that's good. Come into Abbasachan. Sticking out there. Yeah. That's something you want to do is catch a truck on a bit of scaffolding. chilly out there this morning it is minus one at the moment <clears throat> and I go up to the car this morning about 20 minutes before I actually left the house because it was thick of ice and I mean thick thick of ice so I start the car up get the heating going in that and then by the time I, uh, I went out it was uh, nice and clear Thank you. Nine minutes away according to Google. So that'll be about 11. So it's been a while since I've been up here. I think I can remember the way in, but I've got it on Google just in case. Him yesterday afternoon what time the tip was I didn't get reply it's just replied to me now 7 30 so I'm on my way up anyway so I'll be there oh 20 past Recycled plastic is quite heavy. I think I'm 36 ton altogether. I've got about 19 ton of uh, waste plastic on. So not fully freighted, still about 10 ton under fully freight, but it's still quite heavy. The further I go up, I gotta be careful of ice on the road because it's uh, still quite cold out there. So I gotta be very careful on bends. Because you never know where there could be black ice. That looks quite low. It's okay. There's a bit of a branch sticking out then. It's not too bad. I got a 4.5 meter trailer on, so it's 14 foot 10. They have cut a lot of these branches down on the left here now. Last I came up, the time I came up this way, it was. Uh, Lots and lots, oops, lots and lots of overhanging branches. So it was constantly hitting them coming up here, but yeah, it's good. Clicked the little one just then. But you can see they cut all the trees down on the right as well. Yeah, see how all the they cut all the, uh, the overhanging stuff down. It's a lot more open now. That's good. It's very good. to come out one surprising 
minus the 40 mile an hour zone up here, but I think it would be 30, but it's not, it's 40. Uh, while I'm driving up this way as well, uh, we've had a few more uh, donations to the uh, the Biker Brothers uh, Four Points of the UK tour for cancer research. Uh, we're at about two, 2,736, I think, the last time I looked. So that's going up. And if you uh, if you want to help out, if you can, we've got four months to go now before we go. Um, then uh, the link is in the description. If you want to click on the GoFundMe link. Then uh, click on that, follow the instructions, and you'll be able to make a little donation if you can. And if you do, it is very much appreciated. Thank you very much. If I remember as well, I'll uh, I'll read out some more names of uh, of who's donated. And uh, if you do make a donation, I'll uh, read out your names at some point. And if you want to leave a little message, uh, there is a, an option to leave a message as well. And if you leave a message, I'll read the message out as well. So. Thank you very much for that, and if you are watching this video and you're not subscribed, then uh, why not contemplate pressing the old subscribe button? Uh, it's free of charge, doesn't cost you anything, and it helps support the channel. And uh, give a thumbs up if you like the video, give a thumbs down if you don't. Watch out, hanging over there. Um, and then obviously press the, uh, the old bell notification, give it the old ding dong. And uh, you get notifications and when my videos come out, which is normally on a Saturday, but there is one out tonight. Um, it's only half the video. Uh, I did record for two days, but unfortunately, for some unknown reason, my microphone decided it didn't want to work. I'm hoping it's working now. Uh, my microphone decided it didn't want to work on the second day for some reason. I've not got a clue why. It was all switched on and connected and everything else. Um, <clears throat> so I had to cut that one a bit short, so it was only half a... Half a vlog on that one, which is, but it's out tonight. Uh, it's about 27, 28 minutes worth. Um, but at least it's something for you to watch tonight, anyway. About six minutes away now. So, I mean, too bad I'm up here today, actually. But it is still pretty early, so it's not as busy. So it'll probably be busier coming back down again. Um, once I've tipped this, and um, then go in, well, I'm going to see what the state on the truck is actually, on the trailer. Um, I may have to go back and swap trailers, I don't know. A bit tight by here. Because um, obviously I've got a lot of uh, recycled plastic on. Let's see if it's left any mess on the, on the bed. If it has, I may have to go and change the trailer because I'm going to Thermo. Um, picking up a load for Bradford and then uh, up to Bradford this afternoon tip reload in the same place and then back down to Motto um, and as I said uh, I think I'm taking this down tomorrow night to go in for prep for the MOT for Tuesday um, and then Monday, Tuesday I'm going to be local uh, sorry not Monday, Tuesday Tuesday, uh, Friday and Monday I'm going to be local uh, so hopefully in one of those days I'll get an XG because I know Colin's off Monday uh, he's got an XG, so I might be in his. And Wayne's off on Friday, so, and he's got an XG, so I might be in his. So I don't know. If I am, um, I'll bring my cameras along, and I'll show you around an XG. Um, I've only got this for a 12 months now. This is the uh, <coughs> the last MOT I'll probably have the truck for. Um, this time next year, it will be going back. It's on a three-year lease, and uh, what am I going to have for there? I do not know. Um, not a clue, but I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. But I will miss this, i got to be honest. I do like my Merc. But they say what I'll have from there, I do not know. Squeaky break this morning. Right, this is the one where I've got to go right and then I believe left. Up into the industrial estate. Not too bad a ride up there actually then. That was pretty good. 
And I gotta go right out of here now. And I gotta go up the hill and then up to the left there. All good. This is where I gotta watch the wheel spin. Yeah, kick it in. Let's just start on. Oh, didn't need it. Happy days. One thing I'll miss when this goes is the power. So now I'm going quick enough for him. We're left here now. The place I want is up here on the right hand side. In there. Ah, now they're going to want me in the. Better go and have a word with them, I think. Before I actually pull in there, I've got to reverse in. Bit of pain this morning. Don't know whether they're going to come out to me. Mm. Coffee. Well, there's no one in there, so I think I'm just going to reverse in. Shall I go and speak to him first? I'll go speak to him first, I think. I get my jacket. Oh. Oh. Like a penguin again. It was helpful if I put the handbrake on, didn't it? <laughs> right, back in a tick. Here we 
we go. Right. Normally I'd put the camera up on the top for you, but um, if I unplug that now, that's when the sound goes. So I'm gonna leave it plugged in. I can't put the um, <coughs> the dash cam up because the uh, the clip on the bottom is the wrong way around. So. heavy so watch the, uh, the curb by there all good Put the wide angle off now Job done. All right, let's get these curtains open, get this unloaded, and head back down. See you in a bit. Toodles. All right, all done. Not too bad, quarter to nine. Uh, office just rung now. I'm asking how I'm getting on, so I'm just done. I said, but I'm going to need a different trailer. Uh, it's a bit damp and a bit smelly. So I can't really go into thermal with a, a damp and smelly trailer. So heading back to the yard now. And uh, as I'm heading back down, Matt's going to do a trailer check. And uh, see what's there for me to use. I guess straight up to the thermal then, load to Bradford, and head up to Bradford then. Up there for this afternoon. It's normally four o'clock up there, but they're there till half past ten. So it doesn't matter what time I get up there really. But it's good to get there for about four, it means I'll be out of there about six. I'll go down to Woolly Edge then and park up about seven o'clock at Woolly and then crack on back down in the morning then. I just gotta negotiate these roads going back down now. Hopefully it'll have died off a little bit now, because I say it's almost, uh, it's 8.47 now. So, fingers crossed, traffic won't be too bad. And uh, it won't take me long to get back. Squeaky brakes. Good note, was light as a feather. Well, not light as a feather, but you know what I mean. Narrow 
over by there, so we're gonna watch it with things coming up, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna attempt it, I'm gonna put my, uh, my camera through the bushes otherwise. Job done. run down the ponty pool now and then head back towards have the runners and back the yard job done right I'm gonna crack on and I'll probably speak to you either when I'm leaving thermo or just before I get there or whatever I'll speak to you in a bit doodles hello welcome back wow what a day. I'm literally just getting into Bradford now and it is five past five. I was originally going to get you at quarter to four but unfortunately they closed the M5 uh, through a police incident. Um, they closed the junction six so I have had to literally go the long way around. And when I get up to the top of the 50 instead of going left up the M5 I went right headed south Come off the next junction through Chooksbury, went up the A46, followed the 46, picked up the 40, followed the 40 round, dropped back onto the 42 then. So it's, um, yeah, put me back by about an hour and a half. But as I said earlier, there's no biggie because uh, no matter what time I get there, they'll still tip it anyway, as long as it's before sort of 8 o'clock ish. Because uh, they're there till 10. So I'll be there now at three minutes three minutes time eight minutes past five I'll be there so I'll be in there for an hour or so maybe a bit longer because I'm a bit late um, and then uh, a tip reload move over to the next bay over reload and head back down again and I'll stop at Woolly Edge side or as Claire calls it Wobbly Edge uh, so yeah I'll stop there and then head back down to Motto um, I'm going to tip this out tomorrow, the, the one I'm picking back up tomorrow then. Um, I'm going to take the truck back to the yard. So I'm going to have my new wheel put on. I'm having two new tyres put on. Ready for it to go down for MOT. Or MOT prep. Uh, tomorrow night. And then i got to take this trailer, whether it be with this truck or someone else's truck, uh, down for a brake test. Um, and just sort of potch about for the afternoon then before going home. And then I'll be local on Friday and local on Monday. So, just have to wait and see. Just have to wait and see. Hey guys. All right, all done. Sorry about that earlier, but I knew uh, Clay wanted to speak to me about something, so I turned cameras off, uh, all tipped, reloaded, and it is now quarter past six. So that's not too bad, just over an hour there. Thought I might be there a little bit long, because there was a couple of trucks there when I got there. Um, but yeah, not too bad, so I'm just gonna get to uh, Woolly Edge Services, or as Clay calls it, Wobbly Edge. Park up for the night. Uh, my 11 off, I crack on back in the morning then. So it should be parked up by about 7 o'clock just before. Um, depending on traffic, obviously. So 62 can be a bit of a pain with the roadworks. Um, and I can start at 6 in the morning then. And crack on back, and I should be back for about half past 11. It's normally from Woolly Edge, it's normally about four and a half hours on the nose, so normally gonna have a break on the way down. So if I start at six, it's half past ten. 
uh, four hours, no, four and a half hours, that past ten if I start at six. So, start six, quarter past six, leave. It's called 11. Yeah, but half past 11, I should be back. Uh, I gotta get the truck sorted then. Ready for its pre MOT. And I gotta take this trailer down for a brake test. It's booked in tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, pretty straightforward, really. So this vlog is going to be, I don't know, relatively boring. Got to be fair. Uh, but yeah, that's my day so far. Caught the traffic, diverted. Get you an hour and a half after I thought I was going to get you. But hey -o. elongates my day, paid by the hour. So it's on my park up now, it'll be about 13 hours today, so it's not too bad. Started at the 6 this morning. I was wondering whether he's going to move out then. Uh, so yeah, that's my day today. Uh, do I record tomorrow? Don't know. There's nothing much happening at the moment, it's just basically, what I might do is I might just record in the morning, uh, dropping this lot off, and then, uh, obviously they're going to get everything sorted, and then uh, Friday, if I'm in, in an extra on Friday, um, I'll make sure I've got my cameras, and perhaps I'll do a, uh, a little review of the XG, give you a show around of it, the inside, and my thoughts on it. Uh, that'll probably be out on Wednesday then, so this one will be out Saturday. Again, every time I come out here, sat nav wants to take me up to 62 and follow it all the way up the M6. Now to me, it's a long way round, because I'm close to the M1 and just go straight down the M1. And there we go. Um, so yeah, if I am in an extra year, either on um, Friday or Monday, uh, Monday night will be home, so if I'm in the extra Monday, I'll uh, I can edit that at Monday night when I get home, and then put that out for you for Wednesday. So next Wednesday's video should be hopefully, fingers crossed, about the XG and uh, and my thoughts on it and whatever else. That's if I get put in an extra. I don't know. I might. I might not. Because I know there's a couple of boys off on Monday, on holiday for the week, um, but I know Wayne is off on. Friday, but I know there's a couple of other boys off because there's two other trucks packed in the yard this week. So, fingers crossed, I'll get an XG. I might ask him if I can uh, take one of the XGs and I can do the video for you. So, anyway, I'm waffling now. Um, don't forget, if you're into your bikes, you can uh, have a look at our uh, Biker Brother channel. It's all an adventure, and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going out Saturday. Uh, with a group of lads uh, off of Facebook. His group is called Ride Out Wales. Uh, it's a load of lads that are from Wales and uh, they've got a Facebook group. And they go for ride outs every now and again. And there's one on Saturday from uh, Clandovery up to Harlech in uh, mid to North Wales. So I might do that. I've asked my brothers if they want to come. Uh, David's going to have a look, see if he can. I haven't heard from Alan yet. But hopefully, if I can get that. Uh, if we can do that, then I will get that recorded and uh, perhaps put that run up on the on the Biker Brothers channel. And uh, also did a few modifications to the bike on the weekend. Uh, if you haven't had a look yet, pop over there and have a look. I did a little, I think it's about 25 minute video, I put a tank bag on it and I've uh, changed the screen, I put a, a darker screen on it. So if you uh, if you got an X, uh, a GS and uh, you want to change the screen on it, then have a look at the video and I'll show you how to do that. And uh, if you want to support us on our Four Points of the UK uh, tour in July, it's getting close now, it's only four months away, uh, then the link will be in the description. Click on the link and then uh, follow the instructions and then you can uh, make a small donation. Every little helps, so thank you very much. Just had a look now, we've had another donation today. 
Uh, I think it went up to 4,783 now, I think it is. No, what are we talking about 4,000? <laughs> 2,783. So, that's good. Thank you very much, guys. Very much appreciated. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll get to that 5,000 mark before we go. Fingers crossed. If I keep pushing it, you never know. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to get the woolly edge, and I'll probably speak to you in the morning. Toodles. Hello. Welcome back to a very wet Thursday. Back in Wales. Just about managed to get a parking space last night in uh, Woolly Edge. I ended up being in a coach bay, but I got a parking space, so I was okay, along with three other lorries <laughs> that was in the coach base. Um, started up at six this morning, uh, left just after a quarter to seven. 42 was an absolute nightmare today. Um, and the M5, where they got the roadworks as well, just before Junction 8, was quite slow. So I was hoping to do it in one hit, but I had no chance. So I had to stop at... Uh, stop listening then, you nosy bugger. Um, yeah, I had a break in Strentrum. And it is now 25, almost 25 past 12. So i got to go in tip this one and they're gonna reload it then for East Grinstead and gonna put the network on the back they're gonna take the ad um, and then they're gonna sort the, the cab out then ready to go down this afternoon so pretty straightforward afternoon really never comes out of there, hardly. They got a three-way traffic light system on there. <laughs> Strange. Uh, yeah, it started to rain as I was uh, coming down the bottom half of the 50. Uh, good old Welsh Wales. Very soggy. So you got a bit of rain today. Nothing much else has happened, really. Uh, apart from the traffic on the 42 and a little bit on the M5, it's uh, it's been a relatively quiet journey down. I have to be honest, though, I didn't want to get out of bed this morning. Claire rang me just before six. Wasn't up at the time. They set me alarm for quarter six and six o'clock. So I was going to get up at six. <laughs> and Claire rang me. I think it was about five to six. Claire rang me, make sure I was awake. Um, so yeah, that's about it, really. Not a lot else has happened. So I've just got to go up the thermal now, tip this out, reload it, take it back to the yard, sort the truck out. So I think this is going to be probably it for the vlog, I would think. Um, I might, uh, depending on what I'm doing tomorrow, I might record tomorrow then for uh, for Wednesday. I guess I'm out for you for midweek maybe again. Uh, but yeah. Not a great deal I can show you now, so it's a bit pointless recording. So don't forget if you are watching and not subscribed, and then when I contemplate press that subscribe button, not all videos are as boring as this one was. Uh, um, once you do that, you can press the bell notification, get notification when my vlogs come out. And if you're into your bikes, um, then why not check out mine and my brother's biker channel. Biker Brothers, it's all an adventure. Uh, there quite possibly might be something out after the weekend. Um, weather's looking okay at the moment, but we'll see what it's like on Saturday morning. Uh, maybe a trip from Clamdovery up to Harlech, uh, which is about a 195 miles round trip. So that could be interesting. Nice little uh, bit of scenery up there. Uh, so keep an eye on that if you are uh, 
subscribe to the Biker Brothers. If not, pop over, have a look, see what you think. And uh, maybe give it the old subscribe on the old Biker Brothers channel as well. Um, so yeah, that's about it, really. Young lad did come up and say hello to me in Strentrum. Uh, works for Fagan and Whaley. Um, didn't get his name, but he came up and said hello, so watches my videos, so thank you very much for coming up and say hello. If you ever do see me out and about, then don't hesitate, come and say hello. Not a problem. Very apologetic he was about uh, disturbing my break. I said, not a problem. Want to come and say hello? Come and say hello. All right then. Uh, I'm literally well, four minutes from the yard and about nine minutes from Thermo. So I'm going to call it a day on this one. So I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. I know it's not been a lot, but I hope you have enjoyed what you've seen. Um, whatever you're doing, guys, be safe, be good, and I'll most definitely catch you in the next one. Toodles.